Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI, coming at you with a brand new revealing of the Secret Societies video. And today, we're going to be lurking around with the magnificence of Catherine de Medici. Right here. Look at that. She's all done up, ready for the ball. Improved luxury resources adjacent to theater square districts or chateaus receive plus two culture. May initiate the court festival project in any city with a theater square district. Pretty cool stuff, I think. Pretty cool stuff indeed. So we're going to see uh, how many luxuries we can find. So let me tell you a little story. I spent a little time rolling some starts and I found something that wasn't too bad. It was the best I could find in about 20 minutes or whatever. And then I started up the stream and I showed the stream and they're like, this sucks. Finding other... Find another start, streamer. This sucks. And then I found this, and they're like, oh my god, this is amazing. You have to play this. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, okay. And that's what happened just a few minutes ago. So we have this start. I think that the settle on this hill is actually not a bad idea. We still only have the one luxury, which was part of the reason why we kind of negated the, the previous start that I had found. Multiple luxury, multiple copies of luxuries... That was the sound. Zondag's kind. How you doing? Thank you very much for bringing a tier one. Zondag, appreciate it very much. A tier one subscription, fresh out of the gates, one month. That's fantastic. Appreciate the support. Everybody, do not forget to drop some hearts in the chat for that. We're supposed to drop hearts in the chat for that, guys. Come on. So anyway, this is what we're going to take a look at and see what we can do. Uh, they wanted it. We're going to give it to them. I think the settle is here, and I'm going to tell you why. You save the chop. You bring in better tiles than having to just work out here. Although this almost looks like it wants to be more land over here, doesn't it? The way this looks, it feels like this is more land, right? I feel like that's going to be more land. I don't know. But either way, uh, I like the idea of moving away from water and getting better land tiles. And we're also going to bring in the 3-1 immediately. So we'll have a 3-1 and a 1-3, which is you know, kind of equivalent to a 2-2, two, two, I guess, when you think about it. We're also going to be able to work some faith early on. And we'll have a 2-2 two, two city center without using of a chop. So I think I like that. As we pop up here, we reveal another banana. We reveal a volcano over here like this. We're going to want to probably eat up what's around the volcano before we lose it. Use it before you lose it, as they say. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just trying. To, my my mind immediately goes to districting and trying to figure out what to do for districts. So I don't mind that. We're gonna jump on over here, and we'll just move up that river. We always, of course, want to have rivers because the chateau needs to be built on a river, and the chateau combined with her ability is going to be hopefully quite advantageous. We do need an August sub gold Moondoggy, and I I need you know I I'll be honest with you, straight up, fifty fifty chance I don't stream tomorrow, because I'm just I'm freaking run down and overwhelmed and losing my mind over the amount of work I got to get done, both for the stream for YouTube and IRL stuff, and I might just chill tomorrow and try to get caught up on some stuff that isn't uh, a stream. Because I'm, I'm tired of not getting stuff done and tired of hearing about it as well. Uh, okay, so research. I guess it doesn't really matter because we don't have any science currently coming in. I guess we'll just go next turn because we're turn two starting. We don't do that very often, do we? Um, so, found city. We will go straight into our scout. Now, of course, we've had this debate a lot lately and uh, it's a good one to have. What do you do? Obviously, the one three with faith that means we're, we're working faith right away, which works for our pantheon, which is good. But we're going to take forever to grow. If we just keep doing this, we're going to be fourteen turns before we can even start a cellar. So we don't like to work that tile right away. So then the question becomes: Okay, which one of these do we work? If we work the three one, we're going to grow faster, but we're going to make the scout slower. If we work the two two, obviously a little reversed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the three one. 
and that way we're going to grow in five and still get the scout in six. That's it's that's partly because we have the extra production here. If it wasn't for the extra production in this city, if this was a two one and a three one, it would kind of be sucky. But in this case, because we have a two two city center, it's almost like we have a standard city center and a three two tile to work, which works out quite well. And then once we get to pop five, we'll of course be able to either choose to jump into the production or run the two two. I'll probably go two two to be honest with you, in order to get to pop three faster. Likely case scenario. Yeah, that that's I that exactly thank you, Kinjo. That's what I do IRL. I I do I stream, I do YouTube. Oh wow. Now we're talking chat. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count you out now. That was a good idea, chat. Rerolling was a good idea. Holy cow. Look at that. Yeah, I stream. I do YouTube. Uh, I have other couple, a couple of other little things I do on the side. But um, this is my primary attempt at life. There's a whole other story beyond it that I can get into another time. I've told it a thousand times. So anybody in here who's been in here a little bit knows a lot of it. Story-wise. Uh... Zonga is kind. Uh, that is from ages ago. That is that's for the uh, Wonder Starts. <laughs> this is just a regular old game we're playing with uh, secret societies on. And we're playing with Catherine Magnificence. God, I hope secrets. Has there a way for me to know if secret societies are on? It must be on because I just hit restart, right? Yeah, it must be on. Yeah. Wanted to see if uh if it told me the disaster settings. Oh, level two disasters. I don't ever play on higher than level two unless somebody pays me a lot of money. Hoping for horses here. Here. Norm does fun. That's what I try to do anyway. Shooby dooby doo be doo and shooby doo be doo. I have a feeling this is the end, but I just want to see if I can get around that way, and then we'll head back. Uh, Esther, good to see you. Secret societies is part of the. Okay, did we get another continent? Oh, really? Did we just did we get another continent? What's going on? Oh, wow, we're on a continent split, so we've actually found a third continent. Whoa. So that's actually interesting because... We'll have to see, but the excess copies of certain luxuries is part of our benefit, and if we're on lots of different continents that means we're probably gonna have less excess copies of of certain continent of certain things so that might actually be a negative to be on a continent split in a way we can't tell you esther uh i can't stand i i i think i disagree isengard i i find disasters to have actually been a negative to the overall quality of the game in my opinion um just yeah the occasional volcano burst or flood is fine but when i'm losing seven eight nine ten population from three tiles away i i would rather not ever play the game again than play with it like that it's a secret secret societies are a secret hence the name uh somebody asked oh where are you from you're a curious guy. Yes, I'm from Canada. Exactly. But <laughs> sometimes I'm down by the Hava. Having a bear in Australia, mate. It's an Eskimo, yeah. Yeah, I'm in I'm a Canadian fellow. Not a huge fan of secret societies yet, but maybe I haven't figured out how to utilize them fully. The dorks, I think part of it is is trying to figure them out a little bit. They are a little on the slow side for me personally because I tend to play at a pretty quick rate and, you know, 
I'm usually finishing off my games in the industrial era, and then in the industrial era, you're only getting to the third stat of of the secret societies. So they're not perfectly designed for me, but for, there's a lot of people who love the role play and love the the new aspect. And I think it's just a personal taste thing. Holy cow, this city! Can we please, for the love of God, make a settler and go settle that city? So this is where again you have to try and make that decision. Do you go the three one one three? That's going to pop us into the settler at nine. If we lock in here, it's going to take two extra turns for the settler and you're going to grow a little faster. Hmm. I think I'd rather have the settler faster, to be honest with you. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to run. I'm going to run the three, one and the one, three and get the faith and get the settler faster. And basically, this will basically go to pop two. We'll drop to pop one and instantly drop, jump back to pop two, when the settler gets built. So, I think I like this. New France does seem interesting. I'm looking forward to doing them. We're going to be doing Owls of Minerva. The vampires are actually a little unusual. It again, it's 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 another one of the things about it is that they are. It's it's kind they're kind of slow, because you get one, and then you got to wait to the medieval era to get a second, and then by the time you get to the medieval era, you're cranking up towards rushing towards the end of a game, and you don't get another one to the industrial era. So it's again, it's just kind of slow unless you enjoy playing the longer, more role played out, more extensive versions of the game, right? Like it just depends on your taste, I suppose. Uh, the, all these rivers are absolutely glorious. They're they're making me salivate at how glorious they are. Uh, a city up in here also feels really, really good. Uh, I'm not saying that they're not impactful. Even on vampires, vampires, having the one vampire is impactful on the game. But it's slow right it's what there's not that there's not an impact it's that okay we've got this and now we have to wait 80 turns for it to change the game again and then we have to wait another 80 or more turns for it to change the game again and it just it just feels the progression to me just feels slow when i'm trying to finish games fast you know what i mean it just doesn't feel impactful <clears throat> so that's that's the kind of i guess the point i was, I was making wow that's a nice little campus Star of River Dance. Oh yeah, no the va the vamp the vamp castles can be really cool as well. But again, you have to wait till the medieval era to even get them, and even uh, and even then, you're only getting two. Right, and it just again it's just slow. All right, well, we did not get what we were hoping for. They would like, inter okay, so it doesn't really matter, yeah. All right, so that's going to speed up our settler, which is good. Well, actually, it's only plus one now, so it might not speed up the settler by turns, but okay, there you go. Yeah, I guess I guess disagree. I disagree a little bit by that, Ayanna. The that one extra unit, if you're using it properly, uh, becomes incredibly powerful quite early. It's just that it's just the one, but it's very very powerful. I, I was running people over with it um, with just one unit. So, tweet it on, I guess. Uh. You could do a lot more than the other societies than the vampires, I feel. I, again, I think that people just need to just give... I, I, I don't, I'm not saying the vampires are amazing, but I'm saying I think that a lot of people have opinions about the secret societies after playing a couple games, and I think that people will start to evolve their opinions a little more as, as time goes by. So, interesting situation here. Very hilly. 
pretty good land. Campus up here makes sense, but campus up there could be all right, too. Remaining civs that I'd like to see added? Oh, man. There's so many already. I was shocked that they were going to do some. Yeah, Civ 7 is the civ that I'd like to see added, exactly. There's already so many civs, like, to me... I honestly don't know. I don't know what the answer is, guys, to that. Byzantium, Babylon, and Assyria. Interesting. I haven't given it thought. I just, I just have no thoughts on that. I don't. It's, sorry, I don't mean to be an ass. I just don't have thoughts on that question. Uh, people have brought up um, like Venice as, as an interesting idea. I think Portugal would probably be kind of cool, you know, have a really cool navy, uh, some really cool navy bonuses for for Portugal. So we're finding more luxuries as we move along here. What? Draconis, I'm not sure what you mean by by that. Did someone say venison? Mmm, venison's good. Venison sausage. Red Pony, what's up? Just getting into the game, thanks for, uh, for the tutorial videos. I say that you eat tiles with builders. Is there a case when you wouldn't do it? Um when I wouldn't eat tiles. In a flat city, I'll build lumber mills on my my jungles and or woods a little bit in order to maintain some productivity. You don't want to, if it's a really really flat city and you chop everything down, the city's not getting anything done anymore. So sometimes I will I will try to get lumber mills built on a few flat tiles here and there. If a city's got plenty of really strong tiles, I'm not going to hesitate to chop stuff down and then we'll just mine the hills. Farm the flat land, pretty much. Do, 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 do. Let's just keep moving right along here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a barb hut. And we're two turns from being able to do the things with the stuff. So I'm going to wait here. I would jump to here next turn and to there the turn after and start beating him up on the flat land, which will be good. Um, over here. I feel like this is like a little bit of a... Oh, you know what? We thought that there was land here. I'm wondering if this kind of wraps around. Hmm. We need to find goodie hats. We need to find more city-states. Get issues too. Uh, I might have dropped a couple frames, but you shouldn't have had too much of an issue. Extra copies of luxuries would be nice to find because we've only got an extra copy of this, and that's about it. We've got one copy of everything else. We'll see what happens there. Be wonder. Uh, you've been going warrior over scout with the first build due to aggressiveness of the barbs. I used to occasionally do that, but I just feel like exploration is so important. Here's another city-state. I feel like exploration is so important. Um, find like just being able to go around and find the value of finding barbarian or finding uh, sorry, goody huts and city-states and learning the map and knowing where to go study your cities. I just feel like it's just a little bit more valuable. Um, I'm going to grab this so we can get to our Pantheon faster and then we can get to urban planning faster first meet on Armog once again we did not get our secret society <clears throat> we 
which is a disappointment. Looks like there's a this river, like, or is that coast maybe? That might be coast. No. It is coast. Yeah. So we're right out in a little peninsula here. I kind of feel like I want to turn this scout around because he's getting lost, taking forever in here, and there's so much to get done over there. Uh, no, I have not found a goodie yet. yet. No. I am Zod. Uh, I'm, I'm aiming for Elves of Minerva. So far, it is a slow, slow game. Yeah, it's a few more times. It is, the RNG is, is giving us a slap in the face right now, that's for sure. <clears throat> Alright, so here comes our settler. And this is a good city too, but this is definitely a fantastic city. So we're going to go settle this. <clears throat> Jump into the monument. We need some culture All right now. There's a big schmackaroo there. Always nice when the barb camps spawn on flat land. Some more land over here. There's another barb here. That's going to spawn some units because he's found the dudes. Again, we're locked in here, which is fine. Working the faith. It's like working a couple of 2 2 tiles. And pop three and a monument in seven turns. Not too bad. Not too bad. From the Netherlands or Belgium? Oh, based on the name. Boom. All right, here we go. Secret Society. There's our first. You discovered a mysterious society called the Sangreen Pact and earned one governor title. So we've been through this. I'm not going to read these every single time. Sangreen Pact. There we go. The vampires have descended upon us right there. What I will do is I will grab... Pingala, and we'll jump into Paris. Do 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 do. This thing's bubbling. So, my thought was potentially, again, just spitballing. Campus there, and we have a couple of jungles. We have to keep this jungle because we're going to lose this one eventually. So we have to keep these two. Makes it a plus three. And then we could go with Theater Square here, which is adjacent to... Oh, actually, you know what? There's two luxury... If we put the Theater Square there... Hmm. I'm guessing having two Theater Squares adjacent to the same luxury doesn't give it double the boost. So that's not going to matter. Certainly, we're probably like we're gonna to want to try to fit campuses on this. We'll probably keep this. So, districting in here into like like a more commercial hubs. So we'll have to figure that out. Kevin, thanks for the lurk, buddy. There's another barb hut, a long ways away from our warrior. Yet to find a goodie hut. Yet to find a natural wonder. No man ever wetted. Do 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 do. Some good land over here if we don't have any neighbors. We can pop over here and 
fill in. Try to clear this area out here. Pressure does not double up because the wording in luxury does. Yeah, that's exactly right. You can show is that the wording doesn't. Everyone's speaking Dutch in my chat, and I have no idea what they're saying. I feel like they're making fun of me. Here's a neighbor. Might turn around and try not to meet them. Well, we got jungle everywhere, so goddess of, uh, or, or sorry, earth goddess. I almost want to say goddess of the earth. Earth goddess is not probably going to be all that advantageous. We've got a nice river flowing and some mountains, but it's a lot of jungle chops away from being useful. And we want to keep some jungle around in some cases for potential campuses. Um, not impossible. You could, yeah, it is impossible. You could, a campus there is a nice idea for a city up here. Um, Earth Goddess is out. Culture from plantations wouldn't be too bad in the capital. Not amazing though. It's, we haven't seen us like it's. It's. We could use a culture boost. So this is this is on the table. All Europeans are watching Norm. Yeah, all of you. All the Europeans. Do, 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 do. I don't know, guys. I take the settler, but it's not even there. And this is a situation where I probably would have taken the settler. And it's just not there. Uh, Zenitan, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna get to that point, Ayanna. I'm not. I'm. I don't. I'm not a fan of. Unless I've got really attractive land, I'm not a fan of Earth Goddess. I'm not a fan of taking a plant or a pantheon that doesn't help me for a hundred or hundred and fifty turns. It just doesn't. It just doesn't feel right at all. At that point, if I want face generation, I can create it my own way and a lot better. So. This is. See, we're going to lose that one, so it's only really three in the capital. There's one there. There's like, there's like one, maybe two in a per city. It's not fantastic. Uh, the other option is, of course, always Divine Spark. I'm going to take Divine Spark. I'm going to take Divine Spark because I was not impressed with anything else. 
I'd have taken the settler if it was there, but it wasn't. Yeah. Oh crap, I was gonna walk away from this guy. Ah. Oh. Oh man. I was gonna walk away from him. I didn't want to meet him. Oh well. It doesn't feel like a golden age, so I was hoping to save the year score and not jump into a standard age. I forgot that was well, there you go. I forgot this is another continent as well, so. Let's hope things turn around on the RNG front, or we're going to be in a standard age once again. That'd be two straight games. Stone circles. No. That's a hard pass on the stone circles. Thank you very much. Right, Pingala is established. Oh my god, it's a Getty Hut. Oh my god, it's a Getty Hut, you guys. That's not cool. The RNG has bitten us once again. Run that 3-1. Well, I'm assuming we're running the 4-2 over here, right? Yeah. I would think so. That was a lot of things happening right there. Rapa Nui in the house. Political philosophy boost from that. Barbs have popped up over here. We'll go get them. Unit needs orders. We'll head south there. What's Rapa Nui want? Trigger the year of our masonry. Do we even have stone or anything for a quarry? Ugh. You're killing me, game. You're just absolutely killing me. Moondoggy with the Prime bringing in 19 months. Moondoggy, thank you very much, buddy. Prime it up. Prime it up, baby. Who deserves more credit? Every nation lives by exchanging. We can turn this off so there's production. Which is feels good, man. We're about to go hit some barbs again, so we'll go there as well. And let's pop up on here. We'll try and head back this way, see what's going on. Do, 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 do. It's going to be a long venture down here, but hopefully we get there in time to get the clear. Three tile improvements. I think it's time to buy a builder. Do we have a farm? We do over here. We buy the builder here, and then send him this way. We well, the thing is, we don't even have three tiles to improve, unless we mine this. So three tiles to improve is going to be tough right now. But if we buy it here, we can at least get the boost to irrigation, which will get us faster to the things. Yeah, I think we buy a builder in here. farm <clears throat> we could buy this tile we might go there anyway yeah 15 turns though we could we, that's a pasture to build that'd be a th another tile to improve plus it's a boost and then we didn't get horses anywhere nearby so that's the only pasture we're going to be able to build i need freaking more money Damn you, game! 
Yeah, I know the stone over here. Yeah, exactly. I saw that. Can show that's what that's when I saw this. I'm like, damn game, you're killing me over here. Grab that trader. Keep moving south. With the farm, you get irrigation before craftsmanship. Would you have time for the plantations before craftsmanship? Uh, it's going to be close. I'll, I'll switch off of it. Yeah. I'm going to farm up and then I'll switch off of craftsmanship uh, down into early empire. The yeah, I could stay here and not and not improve the capital at all. Probably gonna lose the sheep before too long too. But yeah, I, I could do that. What I might do, yeah, that's improving the spice. Kind of like the idea of improving the capital here, though. I think what such a slowdown though. I could still though like. I really like the idea of improving that tile. Maybe I'll just go with the spice and then hope for another builder here at some point. Are you listening? In the ring. Hey, it's another goodie hit. Free builder, come on. Coming in hot. Let's go. Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba da. The volcano is probably going to ruin the sheep as soon as you get it. Yeah, it's possible, but it's, it's for the for the science boost alone. Uh, it's it's the only pasture I'm going to have anytime soon for this boost. And then it's a tile to improve to get this boost. So it's worth a lot of science and culture to build it. And you never know. Some, the volcano could go off two or three times and never hit that spot. It's only The, the disaster is only on level two. It could easily go off and clear out other stuff, keep that around, and then go dormant on level two. So it's not impossible it stays. course I, I had to go and look and there's nothing there we're just vrooming right through the turns right now folks and they cleared the bar pot <sighs> all right finally we got another one jeez louise The RNG was not being pleasant at all. So we are going to promote, we're going to grab the culture. Whenever it's close, I always grab the culture. If the culture is doing fantastic and my science is struggling, then I'll go the other way. But generally speaking, I was getting some trolls. I'm getting some trolls, guys. Stupid Gazagamu. I don't know the bar popped up, but it's way the hell down here. There's no way I clear that. That guy's going to get be a pain in my ass. Uh, could get a city here. I'm not really sure. So yeah, we're kind of blocked off here, likely, but... Not really a big fan of the map so far, to be honest with you. Got off to a good start, and it's a little fugly now. Wait, didn't I promote? Oh, because I finished off. Wait, what? How? 
Wait a minute. How do I have another promotion? Did I get one from a goodie hat? I've only got two secret society invites and I've already given two promotions. I used one promotion here and one promotion here. I spent two. I've only got two invites. I must have got one from a goody hat, did I? Can you get governor promotions from good hats? I haven't finished either of these. Must be from the goodie hut. I didn't even notice what it was. Must have been. What else we got here? Uh, a slow, slow, grindy builder. Let's get in the granary. We're gonna be at four out of six here soon. Let's grab the granary. So the city, the, we don't want our capital to get hung up. Uh, no, so again, dorks, I'll just show you real quick. If you go in here, I've met two. We've got, or not, we've gotten two invites. Right? And I've given out two promotions. One, two. You get one per invite. I've given out two. But, it still says I have one left. Is what I'm saying. Nope. I still haven't found a natural wonder, and I still haven't gotten one for sending an envoy to a city-state. That doesn't already have an envoy. No worries. The man who has grit enough. No need to be sorry. Void lands. Do, 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 do. Irrigation now done. Let's get into writing. Slinger floating around looking for somebody to kill. Petra intensifies? Well, I mean, it's not bad. Bit of a Petra city here. It's pretty ugly. Turn 33 Temple of Artemis. Whoa. All right, so we found the edge of the continent that way. Hoping, for, hoping to find a damaged scout or something down here that I can sling her up. But it's not working out, guys. It's not working out. Um, these guys are about to be up against their pop as well, so let's get them a granary. One turn looks like we might come to here. We'll see what's going on. This looks like it might be a plus four as well. Holy cow. We're already at 45 minutes in the video. Writing. What's happening? We're just flying through the turns. It's a flood. Oh.
All right, well, I'm going to wrap up this episode. When we come back, I mean, we'll figure out what's going on, I guess. There's the boost to craftsmanship, which would allow us to put this in. This is annoying to have on right now. Maybe we grab some more units. Something like that. When the, In two turns, we'll put a builder on. We'll start baking a builder. Oh, this isn't... Oh, because this one done. Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the episode before we get too long. Thank you so much, chat. Don't go anywhere. Twi uh, YouTube. Secret Societies. How exciting. We are headed towards Owls of Minerva eventually, hopefully. And when we get there, the party will begin. We'll see. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.